Hello everyone, General2 here, and welcome to Transport Fever. For those of you who grew up playing Locomotion or Transport Tycoon, this is the up-and-coming next-generation Transport Tycoon game. It runs off a 3D engine. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if any of you have ever played um, Cities in Motion, it works kind of like that, but instead of one city, it's an entire world. We are going to be starting in 1850, we'll be playing the whole 150 years, well, more than that, closer to 200 probably, on a very large map. It's going to be good, it's going to be good. Uh, I started playing Locomotion when I was in like elementary school, been passionate about Transport Tycoon games for a while. This is going to be taking the simulator slot, so it's going to be releasing weekly on Wednesdays. There's a lot of features too that make this game run a lot smoother than the old Transport Tycoons did, like the line system so you can change the orders of several vehicles instantly, you can replace several vehicles instantly, um, pathfinders are better, I could go on. That all come with time and this load time is going to take forever. Because, you know, it's got a giant map. Alright, here we are, April 1st, 1850. Now, the way I build my transportation networks are based around a, uh, starting out as just a passenger railway line from city to city, and I figure out a route, like, say, from Boston to Atlanta, and I actually think that's what I'm going to do first, but anyway, um, run passengers from city to city between there, and then you start doing freight as well, and local transportation, uh, because the way this game works, is interconnected routes is very important to uh, improving overall how many passengers are using your lines. But um, anyway, yes, I'm going to start uh, working on a line that will eventually work all the way from Boston to Atlanta. But for starters, I am just going to run from Boston to New York City. Um, and then from New York City to Philadelphia from there. So I'm trying to figure the best way to get across this river. Um, hmm. It's honestly probably going to be building the station over here. Hopefully that steel mill doesn't get in the way. And using local transportation to go into the main part of the city, just because it's... There's going to be no good way in here. You're going to constantly get stuck, demolishing buildings, everything else. So, we're going to start out with just a two-platform station, length 80 meters. Not very big, but it's long enough for what we need. Perfect. And then we need a terminal station with just one track over in Boston. And we'll build it hmm. 
Knocking out one building is fine. We'll be close to the city center that way. Mm. Actually, we'll go on the outskirts of town. That way we can set up a bus stop around it easier. Right about there. In order for stations to work, they have to be connected to the road network. Otherwise, literally, no one will go to them. Alright, our stations are built. Now, also, very important for transportation lines between cities. They will not work if they aren't connected to the uh, local transportation network. So we need to get that set up. So, looking for a bus or coach station um, put it eh, other side of the road is fine and then we just need stops along the road so I'm gonna put a double side one there one there there and one there. Simple route in Boston. Um, so this is what I was saying before we need to set up a lines. So the first stop is going to be Upper Boston by the train station. Stop there, 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 there. Back to Oak Street and back to Upper Boston. Now the way transportation works is every passenger or person rather they have a home they have a workplace and they have a shop they like to go to. So you can't just say, oh, this many passengers waiting like you could in locomotion and just haul them wherever. No, they have a set destination they want to go to. That's why having interlinked transportation networks for passengers is so important. Now because of that, I'm also going to do a, tra a transportation link in the opposite direction. Like so. So this is going to be Boston Local 1 and Boston Local 2. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put three on each for now. If we need to have more, we'll put them on, but three should be fine for now. Now in order to buy vehicles, we need to get a vehicle depot. So I'm going to do that now. So. and another three. Good. Now we need to do the same in New York. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. New York is bigger and we got a long distance to cover here. So New York has a kind of circular shape. Because of that I am going to use uh, trams they can haul more passengers and have lower upkeep, but they can't just turn around anywhere like coaches can. You also have to set up tram track, which I'm going to do now. <sighs> yeah, this isn't really that expensive to set up though. So we'll have one route that just uh, goes around this loop. And then another one that covers the entire city. And we shouldn't need any coaches in New York at all. Um, this isn't covered that well, but that's not that big of a deal yet. Alright, so passenger station again and we need to upgrade to tram track here as well good and then we're going to need a tram depot which we'll build closer to town uh, let's see tram depot Now we need to build the rest of the stops. 
that works just the same as uh, buses. So the difference is because they can't turn around, we're gonna have to put um, one on each side of the road all the way around. So there, there, there. Let's go here for good measure. Um, here. And here. And it could have been further back. Oh well. Now there's actually going to be four routes in New York. Now, some of them aren't going to have that many coaches, but there's going to be four routes. So first one servicing the train station. Going this way around. And going back, second one. Going from New York the other way around. And back. New York local one. New York local two. And we're going to do four on each route for this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then for the second two routes, are just going to be around the main section of New York. So Franklin, around here, like so. And then the other way around. Perfect. So this is going to be New York Local 3. And New York Local 4. 3 apiece. Darn it, autosave. All right. One, two, three. Oh yeah, and then while I'm buying these, I'm also gonna say, um, unlike the older games, these trams will actually space themselves out automatically over time, little by little, um, so they're not all bunched up, which is absolutely fantastic. Because no matter how hard you tried to keep them spaced out in the older games breakdowns or traffic and everything else eventually meant that they would get bunched up anyway. Alright, that's done. Now, the next thing we need to do is build the first railroad line between Boston and New York. Building infrastructure in this game is not the most expensive thing for the most part. I mean, later, like, when you start talking about airports or large stations or demolishing buildings, that changes. But for the most part, it's buying vehicles, especially locomotives, that's the expensive part. Perfect. Um, let's see. Now, just like row vehicles, trains need depots. That's why I just did that, so we can have one going to both lines. We'll set it up over here. Good. No need for signals yet. Um, if we have another train running into this station from, say, Philadelphia, stations have built-in signals, so they won't um, interrupt each other. But let's set up the line now. So from New York to Boston. Now we need to buy that train. Just going to be 1440 and three passenger coaches. Out of money. So that just caused us 2.5 million, roughly, 
to do everything. Um, I'm going to cap my loan for now at $5 million, but we could go all the way to 10 if we had to. But then loan interest starts becoming a real problem early on. So what I'm going to do is extend the line to Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia. And call it there for uh, our beginning expansion. So we build a station like right about here. We'll extend that street out and build it right here. That'll do. Um, we'll go with this street so it matches the rest. Ugh, I don't like that bill. And we don't need the tram track, I don't think. Increase my loan to five million. <sighs> okay. So yes, because of the way Philadelphia is shaped, we will not be using uh, streetcars here to start. We'll be using uh, regular buggies. So we want to build the bus station like so. And according to this, it pretty much covers all the streets. Um, I'm still going to build stations, though. One there. One there. Um, that should be fine. And that'll be good for now, though. That's going to be a longer route. We're probably going to need, like, five per each direction. Yeah, we'll go five per right now. And see what happens after that. So this is going to be Phil... Adelphia... Local 1 and... Philadelphia Local 2. Good. Now we just need a depot. Now we just need to build the railroad track and the train. So the Boston line use the right side. So Philadelphia is going to use the left side. We're going to have to build a bridge. Come on, really? What's the deal? Alright, there we go. This bridge over the Hudson is going to be a lot worse. It's going to be a very long bridge. Um, yeah, almost a million by itself. Ouch. And not much we can do about that. And now the rest of the way to Philly. And we don't need to build another depot, because the one in New York is connected to both sides. So New York.
York to Philadelphia. Now we'll just stick with basic for now. This isn't really a uh, what the heck? Well, we're going a little bit over. What are you gonna do? All right, five point five. That's not that bad. New York, Philadelphia. Now, let's get started. There they go. Now we get to enjoy the beauty of the game while we try and get these lines rolling. Sometimes it takes up to a year for passenger lines to start turning a profit because it takes a while for people to find them. And we're definitely not going to be getting passengers right away. It takes time. Take this train to Boston. I love how beautiful this game is. I mean, I grew up playing Locomotion, so the 3D world I brought to Transport Tycoon, it just looks so amazing. That's the Atlantic Ocean right there. That was forever. Or that technically is New York Harbor. Or something. I'm just going to reiterate, this is just New York to Boston. This map is absolutely massive. It covers the entire United States. And this is just New York to Boston. There it is, Boston Terminal. And by terminal, I mean a single 80 meter section of platform. No passengers yet, but I'm not expecting to see any really at all in 1850. All right. We spent most of this episode uh, just building, 
getting our line set up. Next time we're going to tour pretty much our entire transportation company while we wait for passengers to start coming. Boston's already starting to expand a little though, that's cool. But uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.